right, so I have Robert from the Mysterium network here. Now, Robert, I talk to a lot of people in the blockchain space and about decentralization. And one thing that doesn't come up all that often is networking and network protocols. I mean, you think about it, you know, the whole, the whole point of decentralization, you know, a huge chunk of it is networking. Um, and I think that uh, a lot of it is just lack of knowledge. A lot of programmers in general and people like that don't know as much as they should about networking. So before we get into the, the specifics of what the Mysterium network is, could you give us a little basic uh, info on what a transport security layer is in general? All right. Hello, by the way. Um, well, uh, whenever you have a, a communication between any two entities, you have, uh, you, you have uh, them first finding each other, uh, establishing a connection, then you know, talking over than back. Um, and that communication can be open, that communication can be closed. Uh, and whenever you want both, both entities to, to talk privately, uh, you need to make sure that no third party is able to basically see the contents of, of that communication. <clears throat> So that is that is basically it. Uh, that channel which relays relays information, uh, protect protecting that channel from third parties, is securing it. Uh, is securing that information uh, flow. Uh, then there's another layer uh, when a third party uh, doesn't know who are the two entities talking to each other, whether they are people or whether they are two computers, whether they are my computer and your server, or two uh, Internet of Things uh, devices talking to each other. Um, you know, they could be they could be public and they could want to be public and, and, and want to be known, or in some cases they want to stay anonymous. Uh, that's anonymity layer. So privacy and anonymity, they're not the same thing. Um, they're usually bundled together by, by, by people, but actually they're very different concepts. Okay, so um, yeah, so now with that base knowledge, what exactly is the goal of the Mysterium network? The goal of the Mysterium network is to create a network um, which is capable to protect any information that's flowing from one end to the other end to be protected from third-party intervention. Uh, any party who's able to understand the contents, uh, to see the contents of you and me, of any two servers, any two, any two entities talking to each other, uh, can, can influence that in, in, in various ways. Uh, uh, and our goal is to create that that network, which is which is on demand, capable to protect um, that communication between those two entities. Uh, basically, network as a service. Uh, that's the goal that we're aiming for. So, where where does uh, Mysterium sit in kind of the hierarchy of things? You know, if start at the you have the traditional kind of ISPs communicating with each other. Um, down to my computer is connecting with an ISP, and then my browser is on my computer, and I'm watching YouTube through my browser. Where, mm -hmm. in, the, where in that stack does your network sit? Um, whenever you have an app, um, be it browser or be it a, a more specific app, um, connects to, 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 let's say, a peer network or a, a, a a server on on some service. Uh, we of course would you uh, Mysterium network of course would use existing networks like ISP networks. Uh, would use existing um, existing infrastructure like your computer, your phone, uh, connecting to that server. Uh, what it would uh, would be it would be another communication layer, uh, transport layer. Um, Relaying that message uh, towards towards the the recipient. So so for example, 
uh, for example, in browser's case, um, it's, it depends on, on the application. Um, one of the applications, for example, is uh, for the network is a VPN applications. In that case, you can build a VPN app and encrypt the whole uh, trend, uh, the whole um, uh, the whole stream of data uh, through various nodes, multi-hopping uh, and exiting in certain uh, in certain area. Mm, so, so the whole traffic uh, that's coming out of your computer would be encrypted. Uh, what's also possible is um, it's possible to encrypt specific application data. So, for example, you have I don't know Skype, uh, and you want uh, you're building Skype, uh, a decentralized one, and and, uh, and you want uh, uh, bulletproof, uh, uncorruptible uh, communication channel whenever user decides to have such. Um, then you would use uh, Mysterium API um, every time the user chooses so uh, to connect uh, whenever one user wants to privately talk to another user. They would um, this this specific traffic would be rerouted through Mysterium and uh, and yeah, no third parties, not even us, uh, would be able to eavesdrop on that. That's great. So you know, the, when people hear things like that, um, you know, in, you had a great line earlier about privacy and anonymity and them not being the same, um, and <laughs> not even your network can can listen in on the peer to peer communication. Uh, the first thing that people say a lot of times when they hear stuff like that is like, what do you have to hide? Why is this just a network for criminals or something like that? Um, and, you know, obviously I don't, I don't believe that. I, I thought it'd be appropriate to wear my Monero hat today, but uh, okay. <laughs> I, I, I'm just curious how typically, well. how do you respond to, to those kinds of criticisms? Uh, it's, um, we forget, um, we forget how valuable our privacy is. Uh, just because, and, and it depends. Uh, it depends on where you live. Uh, do you live in, 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 in a repressed country? Do you live in, in, in a free world uh, where privacy, at least an illusion of it, is, is, is a given thing? Uh, but we forget how valuable that is. And in, with every day, uh, we're step by step, we're giving uh, a little bits and pieces of that privacy away to, to companies, to, 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 to global organizations. Um, but imagine imagine a, a world where you have a, 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 a CCTV camera, if, if, if I'm right, uh, in your bedroom. Uh, how soon would you go mad? Uh, Privacy is is, um, is is it's 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 science. Uh, if you don't have privacy, you will go crazy, or you will learn to act in a way where you know you're constantly being monitored, um, and if, eventually you will forget uh, that that you're doing that. Uh, you're, it's it's just going to become the new norm. Uh, if we want a, a free society and a society where um, we have the best uh, in us surfacing. Uh, we need uh, we need space uh, to ourselves, and that's 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 the way I look at it. We as human individuals must have space for ourselves. Otherwise, uh, we're not fully utilizing our our capacity, our potential. That's a great answer. Um, yeah, uh, I I completely agree with you, and um, I think you guys are. Are doing a lot to to help with that. So, with that being said, how far along in development are you? I know you have a downloadable program right now. People can go to Mysterium.network and and get it. Uh, how far along are you in that roadmap? And where do you see uh, the the roadmap going in the next you know one to two years? Yeah, currently we have um, we have two things. Uh, we have our alpha. Uh, and yes, um, you can you can come to our website and and, and, and play with that. It's a um, it's a first application of the network. Uh, we're building the network to be open to any developers uh, building building applications where um, protecting the data transfer uh, is 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 important. 
And the first application is, is, is the most obvious one. It's a decentralized VPN, which is built by us. It's open source. You can, you can see the code. You can download it. You can play with it. You can contribute it to, 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 to the development of it. Uh, and also, you can, you can uh, become a node uh, and play with that as well. It's also in, 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 in very early stage. Uh, so yes, we need we need lots of feedback from you guys. Um, we can't be in all places at the same time testing various scenarios. Uh, so please help uh, in that regard. So yeah, uh, we're there. Uh, we're in alpha. Um, we're testing how the protocol works. We're, we're, we're adding new communication layers. As we speak, uh, we're playing with the, with the blockchain at the moment, uh, uh, trying to, 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 to implement a, a seamless uh, value transfer between the node and the user uh, of, of that node. Uh, it's still some ways to go if we, if, if we want a, a fully implemented um, vision uh, of, 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 of uh, completely peer-to-peer -peer, uh, encryption with, uh, uh, with multi-hopping, with, uh, with value transfer, uh, even with uh, shredding of traffic. Uh, it's, it's, it's the phrase we use. Maybe it's not the most correct phrase. Um, then recollecting at, 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 the, at the other end uh, and so on. Uh, so yes, there's still ways to go. Um, but uh, at the moment, we're testing the SN essentials uh, for the network building and uh, seeing how each 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 component uh, plays together with the, with the whole system. Okay, great. Uh, you you mentioned people you know can download a node and run it, um, and you also I, I saw on your website and you briefly mentioned that there's this whole concept of micropayments and some tokenization happening. Yeah. Could you go into a little bit more detail of that? We're, we're still building that. Uh, currently, currently, it's all free. Um, we're just uh, getting getting raw data of how many megabytes has been used by average user and so on and so on. Uh, on the average use case, uh, what are the outlier type of use cases? What's, what's the average use case and so on? Um, so uh, our goal is to understand uh, various use cases in order for us to build the best uh, uh, microtransaction uh, framework, um, which, which we're in the process of making. Uh, it's not it's not out yet. Uh, so, so uh, so I imagine what it'll look like is if you're running a node and, and there's uh, say a VPN app, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. the person sending the data is going to be paying very small microtransactions that the person hosting the node will get uh, paid mm -hmm. for providing that service. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's pretty much the model. Uh, you 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 provide your uh, your your network. Uh, Unused network capacity and used bandwidth, uh, and those who need it uh, would use it uh, for, for for every use. You get paid. Uh, that's 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 the concept. How it's gonna be implemented is still a couple of paths uh, paths for us to to to, 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 to explore. Um, of course, we're we're looking for the most uh, viable in all the cases in, in the economic sense and uh, in the security sense where um, there are certain risks of being hacked. Um, so we're, we're, uh, we're looking for those holes and, and, and patching them with this, with this system. OK, great. And now, um, not to get too personal, but uh, Robert, I was I was interested in in your background as well. Like, how did you get into this whole, uh, you know, uh, networking and security type roles? What's what's your background look like? Um, I'm not a technical uh, per se person. Uh, I'm a, I've always been with the tech. Um, I'm always well, always not always, but. Since 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 very early days of of, of Bitcoin, uh, I've been following Bitcoin. Um, unfortunately, I didn't understand mining 
in the first year of Bitcoin, I actually downloaded it, but uh, didn't give it much, much, much energy. Mm, so yeah, that's that. Um, uh, I've been following Ethereum um, since before they did their own ICO. Um, so so you, you could say I'm a big fan of, of decentralization of, of its principles, its values. Mm, uh, I've been traveling the world uh, for, 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 for quite a while. Uh, VPN, of course, be one of the use cases when you're traveling. Um, and I've been in startups for, 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 for the last 10 or so years. Uh, built built a couple companies myself, smaller ones here in 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 in, in Europe. Uh, exited them uh, to, to pursue my next uh, next challenge, uh, and um, yeah, uh, been following all the Ethereum rise and 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 uh, I don't know if you know. DAO. Uh, there was this 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 huge venture. The first the first big ICO. Uh, it was called the DAO. Uh, I've been very much involved with that. I, I, I've offered a project uh, to build a a system of 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 contribution towards the contributors of of the project of decentralized projects. Uh, at, in a form of tokens, uh, as if, as if they are shares of that of that com of, of the company. Uh, presumably, they're not companies; they're DAOs. But um, but that. So yeah. Uh, and then the DAO project failed. Uh, I was looking for for for, for new venture, uh, which which uh, became this. While I was traveling, I, I suddenly realized that. Um, in the case of of of, the central, uh, of centralized VPNs, you're kind of protecting yourself against against uh, hackers in, in coffee shops, uh, small time hackers, right? Uh, against against governments if you don't want certain government to know what you're doing, so you so you would use a VPN, but then you're giving away your data to very few selected VPN providers. Um, there is a very centralized um, worldview uh, we're being taken towards. Um, so yeah, I wanted to, 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 to help um, decentralize that uh, that space. All right, great. So if people want to find out more, what's the best source of inf information? Obviously, Mysterium.network, the website. Um, yeah, the website, blog. OK. Yeah. And you guys hang yeah. out on Telegram or Slack or any of that stuff? We do have we, we do have Telegram group. Uh, we do have a Slack group. I think it's been it's been uh, switched towards uh, towards towards Telegram. Telegram. Uh, yeah, ma major major uh, major three places is is well four. Uh, it's Twitter, Medium, uh, Medium channel, uh, Telegram, and the website. Okay, great. that's that's where you see us. Uh, we, we, we try to hang out in various uh, conferences from time to time. Um, oh, what's the next conference you're going to be at? I am not, personally. I don't have uh, a conference lined up, but we do have uh, a few people who are constantly, one, one is in Singapore, the other is in, in London, uh, who are constantly looking for various uh, events um, to keep, to keep uh, us um, in the loop uh, to, 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 right. to keep ourselves uh, in the knowledge of what's what's really happening with this with this uh, industry. Yeah, definitely. So for anybody watching, if you're in London or Singapore, uh, check out those conferences and and say hi to the Mystery <laughs> Network guys. Um, yeah. But yeah, thank you so much for your time today. Uh, I know you're really busy. I'll let you get back to work building uh, the decentralized yes. networks. Yeah, <laughs> exciting. <All right. laughs> thank you. Thank you.